Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how you can implement Safe Wallet into your Connect Wallet button for your Web3 application. Now, Safe Wallet is a multi-sig wallet, so it can allow multiple users control of one wallet. And depending on how you set up your Safe Wallet, it requires a certain amount of signers in order for a transaction to be signed or confirmed through the wallet. So in this tutorial, we're going to first cover how to create a Safe Wallet, then we'll create a web3 application with a connect wallet button that allows a user to connect a safe wallet and will then implement a web3 button to allow a safe wallet to claim an nft and we'll show you how the safe wallet works with the multi-sig so without wasting any time let's jump on the computer and let's first create our safe wallet so on my computer here, I am on Safe's website. We'll drop this down in the description. So there'll be a link down there. And what you'll do first is up in the top right, we're gonna launch wallet. Now I have a couple wallets here already created, but you can come on over right here where it says, welcome to Safe. Uh, you can add an existing wallet if you already have one, or you can create a new Safe wallet. We're gonna create a new Safe wallet and we're gonna connect our wallet here and we're gonna connect our MetaMask wallet. Now we're gonna switch and we're gonna make this a Gurley wallet, uh, just because Gurley is the only testnet right now that uh, safe supports. So we're going to create a Gurley one and we're going to name our wallet. So I will name this uh, safe, do safe wallet uh, demo. And we'll hit next here. And we can also add another owner. So right now, this the wallet that I have connected is my default owner. Uh, we're gonna add one more wallet here uh, because we wanna make sure that two people are able to sign uh, and confirm a transaction here. So I'm just gonna grab this account here. So I'm gonna add an owner and this is going to be, uh, I'll just make it Sean and we'll paste in that wallet address right there. So. These are gonna be the two owners of the safe wallet that we're creating. Now down here, we have threshold and this is any transaction requires a confirmation of, and we're gonna make it two out of the two owners. So if you have uh, five owners and say you just want it to be majority, so you can just put three out of the five owners need to confirm a transaction. Uh, in this case, we're gonna say that both of the owners, uh, so both of these wallets up here have to confirm um, the transaction in order for it to go through. So once that is set, uh, we'll hit the next. We're gonna hit next one more time. It's gonna bring us up our transaction here. We're gonna just hit confirm. All right, and then we can start using safe. You'll get a little welcome screen here and you can read a little bit more about everything that safe has to offer. So right here on our dashboard for our safe wallet, we have our safe wallet address, which is this one up here. We can view assets right now. We don't have anything within our wallet and we can also look at transactions, which we don't have anything yet. Um, but if I come back home here and I'm going to copy this wallet address and we're going to send and fund our safe wallet with some girly E. So I'm just going to come here and then we're going to send we're going to paste in our address. Now with uh, safe, it adds this prefix here. So you can just remove that so that it's a valid wallet address. And we'll just send it 0.05. So we'll send that over, we'll confirm it. And once that goes through, if we come back to our safe dashboard, we can view assets. And you can see we now have 0.05 girly ETH here, and we have that in our wallet. So now let's create a application here that we can connect our safe wallet to. So I have my terminal here. I'm gonna do npx third web create app. Uh, we're gonna use the newest version of our CLI here, and we're gonna call this um, safe wallet demo. We're gonna be uh, using this with EVM, and I'm gonna use next and TypeScript for this. And once that is done, let's go into our safe uh, wallet demo here and let's open this up in our code editor. Now in our code editor, we can actually, well, let's run and see what we have here. So if I run yarn dev, open this up in our local host here, 
Um, when you create an app with ThirdWeb, you are given this kind of templated application here. So if we come back here, we're gonna first go into our index.tsx and let me just close this. I am going to first just get rid of the templated code between these main tags here. And I'm just gonna add a single connect wallet UI component. And this is gonna give us the connect wallet button within our application and we'll then configure it to accept a uh, safe wallet. So if I come back to my application here, uh, we have our single connect wallet button. By default, it has MetaMask, Coinbase and Wallet Connect. Uh, but we're gonna configure that to uh, take and be able to connect a safe wallet. So coming back to our underscore dot app TSX file, we're first going to change the active chain. Uh, I have a test contract that we're going to test things out with. Sorry, go early uh, because again, we have our safe wallet, which is on go early. So we're going to be accepting go, the go early network here. And in my third web provider, I'm going to add uh, supported wallets here. And with supported wallets, we can add in what wallets we're going to be supporting with our application. And for this one, we're just going to take a safe wallet and that is all we need to do. So safe wallet will be the only wallet that's going to show up that we can connect to our application. So coming back to our app here, uh, if I hit connect wallet, we will only have the option to connect to a safe wallet. You can add your other wallets like MetaMask, Coinbase, or Wallet Connect. Uh, we also support email wallets, or if you want, we have other wallets like our ERC4337 smart wallet and something called local wallet as well. But any wallet that you want to support, you just have to add into the supported wallets. Uh, now for safe, we can connect our safe wallet here. Uh, we're first going to choose our personal wallet that we're linking with it. So it has to be one of the safe wallet accounts. So we'll do that. And then we'll come over to our safe wallet here and copy our address. But in our wallet address, you can see it already selects the girly network for us and we'll connect to safe. So you can see here we have our safe wallet connected with our 0 0.05 girly ETH. If I click on it, uh, the personal wallet right now, it is one of the owner wallets, which is one of my wallets right over here. And now we have an application where our safe wallet is connected to it. And if we wanted to, we could mint an NFT or claim an NFT. And it will require us to one sign with this personal wallet uh, to confirm one of the signatures we need. And then uh, the other wallet would have to confirm the signature from the safe dashboard in order to fully confirm the transaction. So let's do that now and let's add a Web3 button component that will allow us to claim an NFT. So coming back to our code editor here in my index.tsx file, I'm going to add a Web3 button and we're just going to call this, have it say claim. And now our Web3 button is going to take two things. It's going to take the contract address that we want to interact with. So we'll get our NFT smart contract address there. Uh, and then it's going to do a call an action. So what is the action that this button is going to be calling with, uh, upon that contract address? So let me come over here. Let me grab a contract address for a girly NFT. So I have this NFT from one of our other videos. Uh, I can copy that contract address there. Right now we currently have a supply of two and I can come back to our code editor here. I'm gonna paste that contract address in and the action we are going to on the contract uh, call the claim function. So if we contract, we can specify, this is a ERC 1155. Uh, and then we're going to do claim and we have to put in the token ID, which this is token ID zero and the quantity that we're going to claim, which is going to be one. So this button here will allow us to claim one NFT from that contract address. So I can come back to our app here and we have that claim button. And if I were to click on it, it would bring up the transaction for us to claim the NFT. Now I can copy this contract, our safe wallet address here. I come back to our NFT contract here. I'm just going to go to the explore tab and do read and we're going to read the balance of so we can just see here that this wallet currently owns zero of this NFT, right? 
And once we claim it, we should be able to see that it owns one of the NFTs. So coming back to our app, let's first hit claim. We'll be brought up to a signature request here. So this wallet is signing that we want to put this transaction through. And what we now have to do is come on over to our dashboard here, to our safe dashboard. And I'm gonna switch on over to the other wallet. And when I switch over to the other wallet, you can see we have a transaction that requires our confirmation. So we can view that. And you can see here that our initial wallet has put in this contract interaction, which is going to be claiming the NFT. Uh, we can either replace it and reject it, or we can confirm this transaction. So we confirm it. We can just put simulate, and we can see that the transaction was successfully simulated. We'll submit that. We'll confirm this transaction here. And we can see that it is now approved this transaction and our transaction is now currently going through. So again, with Safe Wallet, it is a multi-sig wallet. So in this example here, we needed both wallets to sign and confirm this transaction before it goes through. You can see here, uh, the transaction was a success. We'll come back to the homepage here. We'll copy that uh, wallet address again, come back to our NFT contract. Oh, actually, it's still there. So we'll just run this again. And uh, we can now see that this wallet owns one NFT. And there you go. This was a quick tutorial video on how you can implement and allow safe wallets to connect to your Web3 application. Also going over how you can create your very own multi-sig safe wallet and how that would work if you were to claim an NFT or interact with a smart contract in your Web3 app. I hope you folks enjoyed this video. And if you did find some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on tutorial videos just like this. If you haven't joined our Discord community yet and you haven't joined the amazing community of builders just like yourself, we'll drop a link down in the description below. If you have any questions or you need any support, you can drop it in our Discord and we'll be happy to help you out. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video, you found some value in it, and until next time, see ya.